And Brandon Smith, back where he has been so often this year, starting hooker with Harry Grant on the bench. Here we go, destiny awaits. And it's the Melbourne Storm to bring it back. And Tui Kamakamitha is first to carry it forward. 45 minutes last week in his return from injury. The other prop forward, Nelson Asifa Solomona, has a little juggle as he completes his comeback. First game in six weeks. Brandon Smith, look at the pace already from this Melbourne Storm outfit, working Cronulla over as Hines goes in a dummy half. Now Trent Liero in the 20 jersey, his sixth game in first grade. Dominant uh, in regards to territory early. Now the first genuine chance. 34 points a game this, this outfit averages. And let's see what they've got here. Asma Solomona down the middle. Oh, bounding towards the line. Brandon Smith goes himself. He's over. Oh, it's so, so simple. Brandon gets try number 11 for the year. And the Melbourne Storm are on their way. Well, I'll tell you what. You've got to be so alert when you play against Brandon Smith from dummy half like that. He's got this great ability and strength to duck under. You've got to be aware of that. That would have been brought up all week. The first mistake there. Solomona goes straight through a couple of tackles. As I said, the yardage after contact. You've got to be alert here. He's going to duck under you. He's so strong. Brandon Smith with his 11th try of the season. And players running and players in motion at the line there. Ducks under. First error. That's bad signs for the Sharks. First error they make. Storm make you pay. Great start to the storm. So seven minutes gone, and it's Melbourne six, Cronulla nil. Last tackle here is uh, Trimble. Kicks towards Eremia. Easy one for Eremia, but the chase turns that into something. Whaley first receiver again. As Woods gets rid of it. Whaley to Rudolph. Rudolph swiveling, but filled. But there's six more tackles. Lewis wouldn't get off. Williams finally plays it. As he comes out now to Ramey and takes on Hines. Oh, beautiful pass. Katoa got there. Sione Katoa gets the Sharks first. And this is a Cronulla team that tonight is not going to die wondering. Well, they've got plenty of fight in them, haven't they? Ramey, and it is. We, we just mentioned how strong he is. Able to stand in the tackle there. It was all on the try to put the hit on too, along with Hines. Gets the footy away. Gets on the outside of his man. Big sofa coming across to make the tackle to try and drive him in the touch. And this guy, once he gets the footy, the flick out in the back. And that is a great response there. Katawa. What a finisher he is. <laughs> They're back in the game now. He missed uh, several weeks this year with injury. A knee injury kept him out for about three months. Boy, he can finish. As from Seve at dummy half as straightener from Fanukam. Hamakamita. Oh, trouble. Almost got there. Smith. Hines, oh yes sir, Ryan Pappenhausen, well that brings back some memories, Hines another try assist down, for him, check if it and it just legally. opened up for Ryan Pappenhausen. Thanks mate. Sorry mate. Williams sending it on the Trindle, here's a kick, as he turns Aramia around, it's a sweet bounce, but again the chase. Turns that into a wonderful result. Here's Trindle again. This time he kicks towards the middle. Clean balls, Pappenhausen, and Aramia cleans it up. Trindle at the line. Oh. Olam took out Nakora and will pay the price, giving away a penalty. But this to tie things up with 23 and a half minutes gone. And he's got a magnet on that right upright. This time it just tucks inside. So this a little cumbersome, but here's Hughes now. 
Just happy to take the tackle off Wilton, so it comes down to this. And, oh, Smith not this time, but he somehow bounces away. He just couldn't keep hold of it. Well, the Sharks hold on. That's a great shot. Brandon Smith off the back fence, hitting a hole. Just think our expectation of him after last year's season and winning the medal in the grand final. We probably expect him to do a lot better. He's, he's playing well in this game so far. Yeah, he's, he's certainly putting himself in the picture. That one disallowed try. Well, this is a big set. Hughes cuts out two. Hines! Olive held on to Pappenhausen, and he got there. They won't take that off him, surely. Ryan Pappenhausen is in. He wasn't going to be denied for much longer. Ah, speed equals strength, doesn't it? He exploded again there, Pappenhausen. We're only talking about him just seconds ago. And the good players want their hand on the footy. They've been really good out this left-hand side. The right-hand defence again caught short. The offload, look at that. Explosive off the mark. Footwork. They can't go with him. Ramian, it is, just clutching it there. Albeit he got off the ground. Throws the arm out. Happenhausen is in this time. And he does just like to guide it through. Melbourne. They don't care about giving six more away here. Liero actually gets a result there, but Merlin. Kennedy's tapper! Katoa! He's got a double! It's close! Ah. But it's a try! Oh, he's a master! He's an aerial master! And he has squeezed that in. What a moment just before half time. And you can bet will be looked at closely by the bunker. I'll tell you what, that is brilliant what Katoa has done there. But what about the pass from Kennedy? How much has he improved as a player? The way that he tips his ball on a second man play. Here it is, the morning. Look at that beautiful stuff. Great finish. But it's the inside right. pass. Katoa is in. What a strike there for the Sharks on half time. Those first couple of angles. Sure, you at home were thinking, oh, that he's got a problem here, but no, no problem at all. That's clearly a four-pointer. Oh, Matt Rogers with Andrew Fafita in the foreground. He played well with Sharks. And that's a good kick. That's his best kick of the night. All tied up. Hey, he's got his arms raised, Matt Rogers. Let's see what they can come up with in the second half. What a game of footy. Huge 40 minutes here on Fox League. What a Cronulla got. Here's Hamlin ULA bumping off Brandon Smith. One of the quirkiest stats the Fox Sports Lab have come up with. Melbourne have been tied at halftime three times this year. They've lost them all. They've only lost three games. All tied at halftime. Read into that what you will. They've tried at halftime three times for two wins, but there's something odd about a tied ball game. Now, Fanuka, Hughes, they're backpedalling. The Sharks. As it comes to Liero. Just held on to by Tracy. Quick play the ball. Seve tries to do it on his own. Does do it on his own. Melbourne take the lead yet again. Marion Seve. Oh, what a gamble. He put all his chips in the middle and he's come up with a winning hand. Well, it came, it came down to the bad set end there by Trindle. The kick out the ball downfield. As I said, Pappenhausen just trapped it on his feet. In the second and third tackle, they're up over the halfway line, but Sevi does it he's all on his own. There's four Shark players to start this second half when you should be at your best defensively. You've got to get out there and get those shoulders warmed up, but Sevi runs from dummy half. After a poor start to the second half here by the Sharks, with their first set, Sevi makes them pay early. First time they've touched the ball. Oh, Harry, Harry Grant. Ooh, where's one from Hamlin Uwele? But Grant now regularly running out of dummy half. Yeah, that might slow you down a little bit. He's staying down for the penalty by the look of it. Uwele's saying, come on, mate, get up. And Grant told to get on with it. Here's Brandon Smith with a dummy half burst. Jeez, it's dangerous. If you're on the back foot defensively, these two guys out of dummy half, Grant and then the block of cheese. That's for Solomona. Grant's going to run again. Look at the space. Oh, there he gets rid of Nakora. Here's Pappenhausen. And good by Ryan Pappenhausen. He is back. Melbourne starting to cut the Sharks to 
to shreds. Oh, it just opened up. I think he's the best dummy half in the game, Green. I know they swap it around too with the cheese. And this kid has got a great nose of when to run. He can just read markers so well he goes straight through. And what about the awareness of Pappenhausen to know that he's going to go? It was all from the play the ball here. Look at that. Finds the front. Quick play the ball. Grant is off. But have a look at this for Pappenhausen just lurking straight away. As soon as he got the ball, as you said, it's goodbye, Dan. That's your call. Oh, fifth line break for the Storm. It, the, the tenor of this game has changed completely. Harry Grant there. Yes, it's Pappenhausen's try, but boy, oh boy, Harry Grant. Oh, Kennedy. Oh, Tracy. Almost. Oh, how did he not score? For a moment there, it looked like he was going to burst through. No one really set for any field goal idea here as Hines. That's a wild pass. Aramia, brilliant take. Now back for Grant. Surveys, Hughes, right foot step, inside Talakai, then the kick, then the try. Oh, it's a masterpiece. Hughes, deft touch, Pappenhausen the chase. You know the brilliant thing about this is Hughes is heading back in field. Somehow he knows to put the ball on the outside of his boot. Knows Pappenhausen's there. He's, in, he's, in, he's wrong footed, he's in the wrong position to do this kick. Have a look. Bang! What about the call there from Pappenhausen? He's in again, he's all over the shop. He's everywhere. Oh, another try assist for Jerome Hughes. What skill. It's hard not to keep reiterating. He only became Melbourne's permanent halfback two years ago. Here's Metcalf. On it goes to Trindle. With Williams. Oh, getting away from Heights, who was interested in the steal more than the tackle. As back it comes to Metcalf. Oh, Harry Grant. Well, they've gone through this game, Scott Free, Melbourne. Have to keep an eye on that. Comes out here, and Connor Tracy, he's over. That could be a huge try for the Sharks. Game is gone, but that, you never know, might be enough to get them into the finals. Yeah, they were a man down at the defensive line. We see Harry Grant there in the back plate getting some treatment. The Sharks, after a great run through the middle by Jack Williams, he's not done. Tracy's got great speed. They can't make the tackle. Improves his position. The Sharks have bothered the scoreboard attendant for the first time in the second half. Nelson! You're on report oh. for a late tackle on uh, Luke Medcalf back there. We're going to the scrum here. Oh, my Sharks goodness. Uh -oh. So, a late twist. Nelson has been charged four times this year. There is no discount coming his way if he has a case to answer. It's almost been a perfect day for Melbourne. And for the eighth time, they finish the competition on top of the ladder. Their fourth minor premiership in six years. They are so consistent. They are so good. And that man so electric tonight. For the Sharks, wait and see. They need the Gold Coast not to beat the Warriors by 12 or more. So their destiny is now out of their own hands. But they might have just done enough. And some nice uh, celebratory scenes for the Storm. We'll see them in the finals next week. Full-time, Melbourne 28, Cronulla 16.